Reeling Up the Coast is proudly brought to you today by Key West Boats. Key West Boats, built by fishermen for fishermen. Visit Key West online or visit a local dealer to find the model right for you. Hey folks, we've got a great show for you today and we're out of Georgetown, South Carolina. Just up from the road from the beach and pretty much close to anywhere around. And you see this guy next to me. If you recognize his face from any Marshall's Marine functions, this is Mike Foxworth. And I know I try to represent Marshall's Marine the best I can do through reeling up the coast. But the real face of Marshall's Marine is this gentleman. He's been a spokesman for him for over 40 years. Right. And today he's invited us down to Black Mingo Ranch. Mike, thanks so much for bringing us down here. Very welcome. I'm glad to have you on board, and I hope we'll have a good time today. I feel sure we can. We did have a late rain last night, and it rained up. It hasn't been long gone, and that's going to change our plans a little bit. We really wanted to get the early morning bite, but I think we've missed that primarily, so we're going to try some on top today with a spro frog. Uh, a lot of people are very familiar with this. A lot of the bass fishermen are. It makes a little plug-in noise as it comes through and it disperses a good bit of water. Of course, little tails drag behind it, disperses a little water. But uh, it can come right through thick vegetation and every time you little, hit a little opening, that's an opportunity for a bass. They'll normally fall it out till it hits an opening and then they'll take it and swallow it. The next thing we're gonna be using in case they've already gone down and I'm gonna feel sure that probably that's where we'll catch most of the fish. Here, I'll get this one out of your way, bud. Okay. But right here, today we're using a lizard, and of course we're using 20 pound test line because this lake is full of stumps, vegetation, and there are some real heavy bass in here. The heaviest bass I've caught in here so far was 14 pounds and two ounces, which is a real trophy bass. Uh, we catch a lot of bass over 10 pounds in here, and a lot of them we take on this little critter right here. It's nothing more than a zoom lizard. It's a zoom lizard. Um, I use it versus the worm most of the time because it's got more little wings on it out here and it gives it a little more action and the more action you get, the better off you are. Now, we will be pegging this ledge. You see it slipping now, but I normally slip a little toothpick right there, break it off, and then slide it down. That keeps it from hanging up because what happens if you come over a snag in this pin, this is what happens, it comes over together. Right. If it's not pinned, what happens is it comes over like this, then it pulls your bait into the snag, see? Yep. And makes you hook up. So if you peg that lead, now if you're in open water, open lake, uh, you're okay not to peg it, but we're gonna be fishing in some tight corners today. We're gonna peg it. Well, so that, I believe that's pretty good. And that that's sounds wonderful. what we're gonna yeah. start with. Well, I'm ready to go fishing. Now listen, bear with me. Understand, I'm a saltwater fisherman. I'm not used to setting the hook on a bass, but I'm going to try my best today, and I, I hope not to give you too many professional overruns in your rods here. Well, I've only got one thing to say. If you miss too many bass today, <laughs> if you miss too many, then the camera might not see it, but we will cut your shirt tail before the day is over. All right. Well, good. Well, I hope All I right. end up. I hope I end up at the end of the day having my shirt tail. Sounds good, <laughs> guys. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and keep my shirt tail. Don't go anywhere. We got a great show for you, and it starts right now. This segment brought to you by Polly's Island Outdoors. Our knowledgeable staff can help you choose from top-of-the-line tackle, apparel, guns, and hunting gear to boat rentals and guide service. We are your connection to the outdoors. Visit us on Highway 17 in Polly's Island. RAV4s for $21.9 Sparks Toyota. At Sparks Toyota, buy the 2011 RAV4 for $21.9 or 0.9 APR for 60 months. Buy the 2012 Tacoma for $23.9. $23.9 or 2.9 APR for 60 months. Plus, get Sparks Toyota's preferred customer program. Log on to SparksToyota.com. 
And hurry, these great deals end soon at Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. Get it fresh seafood, savor the taste of flame grill steaks, burgers and dogs. Hot dogs, baby. At the Dead Dog Saloon. Relax in the hammock, enjoy the view. Dance with the band to your favorite view. We'll see you all soon at the Dead Dog Saloon. In Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, USA. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves, and an adventure is always awaiting. Step into the Southeast's largest climate-controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner, or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Skeeter and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all-terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas, and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. Did you see that? Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Did you let go of him too? Large mouth, fishing with Mike Foxworth. Hot dog. Yeah. Look at there, Mike. Oh yeah. Look what I found. I'll bring him on. You want to get him? Yeah, I'll get him. All right. Uh, there well, we go. That'll teach you to play in the streets. Hot dog. I tell nice you what, he, he, uh, he hit it hard, Mike. Yeah, now you see how hard these little fish pull. Yep. Uh, there's something about this lake here. Even the small fish pull real hard. Most of the time the water stays real cool. I've heard old fishermen say it chills their blood and gives them plenty of energy. Now, I don't know that to be a fact. But if you see how dark these fish are, too, on the back, right. that's why they call them black bass. Now, that's a little guy there. But anyway, we're going to get his mama. Hey, it's a fish. That's right. That's Heck it. yeah. All right, little boy. Go home. We're going to let him go. Right on. One on here. You got oh, one. he's little. You want me to come get him for him? You got him. He's small. I got him. Just a small fish. That's all right. It's a bass. But see how he pulls. Yeah. Even these small fish in here really pull. Just another small one. But that means we're that much closer to a big one. I tell you what, though, Mike. I mean, it's weird. You know, we went that long stretch, didn't have a bite. Right. I mean, I caught that one fish, and then we caught into these two little areas, and we've had six bites right here. I mean, are they are they moving around? Is that um, what they're doing? Chasing bait? Probably they just ganged up right down here. Um, a lot of times when you find bass, you'll find a little school of them. There'll be several there. And most of the time, if they're small like this, all of them will be small. Then if they're large fish, most of them will be large. All right, we've got the bait out. Now we've just got to get the little hook out and send you on back home, pal. Now you were going to give a tip earlier. Oh, yeah, a little tip. Yes, if you think about it, just like Bill Dance says, says when you think you're fishing too slow, slow down. But it really is just common sense. If you think about it, you take a big, heavy set guy, when he gets the hardest, he's not going to do a hundred yard dash the hardest. That's right. The children and the grandchildren's going to outrun him. However, when he gets there, he's going to eat his shell. That's now, right. Actually, bass <laughs> are the same way. Uh, heavy bass will not do a 100-yard dash to pick up a bait. They move a little slow because they're bigger. Right. And it's just like people. When they get heavy, they don't move fast. When they get older, they slow down a little bit. There he goes. There he goes. Get what him. did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you he was right there. Bring him on through that stuff. You may have to catch a line and put it. I got him. He's coming. Ready yep. line. You may have to catch the line with your hanging. Look at that green slob. <laughs> uh, he's not he's not the biggest, but I tell you what, he's look at nice. that. That ain't bad. Hot dog. I tell you what, I'll sit here and fish with this topwater bait all day. <laughs> and I'll accept missing a couple fish. That is a blast. What a great time. What a great time. We'll let him go. 
Hey. Another largemouth bass, Georgetown County. Yeah. Got I'd go. Got I tell you what, that was one heck of a hit there, Mike. Yeah, he's little of a bleed. A little nicer fish? Well, he's watching pool. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, my lordy, come on. Did you let it go? <laughs> he got off. <laughs> hey. Catch and release. That was a good catch and, fish. Catch and release with Foxworth. <laughs> You know what you Can say you when release? something like that happens? You say, thank you, devil, for reminding me to praise the Lord today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's what you got to say. You'd have to bleep it out if you didn't. Well, I couldn't see wow. over your head when he hit, but I could hear water displacing all over the place. That was a better fish. He was. He wasn't wanting to come in. That well, go ahead and get fish. you another one. Yeah, we're going to try another one. I believe it's a good one. All right, watch him. Watch him. He's going now. Yeah, he is. He's watch tearing it down. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> I believe it is. Watch that there. ain't fair. I want the biggest fish. I want the biggest fish. Oh, yeah. I want the biggest I hope fish. That don't get off. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one there. Well, he ain't real big, but he'll start. Bigger than anything I've been, bigger than any bass I've ever caught. Oh, 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 oh. My bad. I thought, there we go. We're good. I thought that's what we're looking for. That's more like what we're looking for, isn't it? He ain't just coming. Hot there. dog. Look at that. So that's what we've been catching. <laughs> Should have been catching all morning. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is a nice bass, Mike. Look at that. That is nice there. That's a little fish. What's he, about five pounds? Six? About six. That's about a six pound. Well, right he'd be there. about four pounds bigger than the biggest bass I've ever caught. He's a little heavier than he look. But now that's fish. That's Hot. what we're famous for. Hey, folks, it's Tips and Techniques time, and I'm with Jessica Perry at Perry's Bait and Tackle right here at Merle's Inlet. And Jessica, uh, in the summer times, bluefish yes. are a go to species on the beach. And, that's and right. With these surf rigs that you make, um, you know, it's pretty much guaranteeing to catch them if they come up and hit these baits the way that they normally do. And I know you're, you're going to work hard over here. Explain to everybody about this rig. Well, the problem with the bluefish, they have a tendency to come up from the back of the bait and pretty much tag them off behind the head. Right now, I'm just um, making the rigging wand portion of the rig. And what you started with is this. Right. Just a normal rigging wand. So once you t clip the tag off, you want to kind of hold it tight, just slide the float up and just twist it on. I made this, I measured over to about five inches. Right. Um, and then this is your double hook. You can see it's open down the middle and that's kind of a key part to this rig. We've got our surf sinker, three ounce frog tongue, awesome surf weight. It's not going to roll, it's actually going to bevel in and um, keep you from rolling back in or rolling from side to side. We've got a duo lock snap, a three-way swivel. I did a clinch knot on there, measured two or 24 inches. And then you're gonna just do another clinch knot up here. And this is just basic. If I'm doing 40 pound test or higher, which this is 40 here, I use a clinch knot. It's perfectly fine. Just cinch it down, tighten it. Nothing's pulling that off, clean. Clip the tag off. Now the way that this works as far as rigging is concerned, as far as the bait, we've got our finger mullet here, which is the bluefish bait of choice. Yep. Um, hooks open down the center, slide the hook off. Gonna grab your mullet minnow, go in the mouth. You'll notice that it kind of stops at the back of the throat. You wanna keep pressure on the gills and wiggle it side to side so it doesn't shove out. And then it kind of lines up to come out the butt here, which you don't want it to come out the butt. If you can just keep pressure there and keep working your fingers, keeping pressure on either side, you can actually work it all the way to the end. Through the tail. Yep. Right. This is where your hook's going to go back on. And gingerly just pull the hook back up in. Sometimes the tail feathers will try to get in your way. But the concept is so perfect because everybody out there has gone out and had the, you know, the, the mysterious uh, tail bite off. Right. And we all know that it's bluefish. Right. Um, 
And the way that this is going to work when they come up and try to snap them off behind the head, the, it's got wire all the way through it because the blues are extremely toothy fish. That's why you need the wire and the hooks at the very back. You're going to tie on from your surf rod here on this empty three-way swivel. This is going to sit on the bottom and then your mullet minnow is going to flail around up off the bottom up in the middle of the water column where you really want to target your more aggressive fish, all blues. Right. Um, and I've even had people catch Spanish off the beach with this. I've had people catch red drum off the beach with it. Anything that would hit a flailing around hurt wounded mullet minnow would hit it. Yep. But, um, you know, it's a way of being able to simulate a live bait without having right. it actually be live. Because you put a live one on there, then he snaps it off. And it's perfect because they've all got teeth. All those species right. you just said got teeth. And guys, listen, come down to Perry's Bait and Tackle. She's got them on the wall. They look just like this. Um, come down. She's got these and every other tackle that you would need to do surf fishing, to do inshore fishing, offshore fishing. They've got it right here. Come down. 17 Business in Merle's Inlet. Jessica, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. We look forward to sharing some more tips and techniques with you. Now, I'm going back to the water. You stay right there. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by these following sponsors. Harry's Bait and Tackle, offering the freshest bait in our area since 1954. By Towboat US, Little River, Myrtle Beach. Sign up today and we'll make sure you get home safely. By Coastal Angler Magazine. Pick up your free Coastal Angler Magazine and check out what's going on in Carolina's coastal waters and beyond. Also check out Captain E's article each month. By Seven Seas Seafood, offering its customers the freshest choices of seafood caught locally and served by the best chefs on the Grand Strand. And by South Carolina Bank and Trust. At SCBT, it's our beliefs that set us apart. We believe in our people, our customers, and communities we serve. RAV4s for $21.9 Sparks Toyota. At Sparks Toyota, buy the 2011 RAV4 for 21.9 or 0.9 APR for 60 months. Buy the 2012 Tacoma for 23.9, 23.9 or 2.9 APR for 60 months. Plus, get Sparks Toyota's preferred customer program. Log on to SparksToyota.com. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying the Bass Show today and while we're back at the Dead Dog Saloon with Chef John, we're not going to be cooking today, but we're unveiling this beautiful new restaurant that you guys have been fortunate enough to recreate after that terrible fire. Yeah, Angus, we're doing something a little different today. Uh, it's been busy. Uh, we got people out on jet skis right now. We uh, are sitting here enjoying a beer at the brand new bar. I think you're going to walk us through everything eventually, but uh, we got the outer deck, which I think everyone's pretty familiar with the way it looked before. Right. You guys will come back and see it very much just the way it was. It's, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So it looks pretty good. Um, if you come back in through the sliders, though, you'll see where we're sitting at now is totally different. We kind of wanted to unveil the inside to our customers. We kept it somewhat under wraps. Um, you did a good job because I was sneaking down the whole time trying to look in. I couldn't even see We you, didn't let is. the media in. We didn't let anyone snap the pictures. <laughs> we kept them outside. You know my dad, he likes to make a big, big splash. Make a, make so. a big, and I'll tell you what though, without a doubt, it, it is. I yeah. mean this inside bar, the way you've moved it from the other side of the building over to here. Absolutely. And you know, two years ago we unveiled the whole redesign in there and that was incredible. At the time we wanted to actually move that bar in here, guys. It looks over out on the view. You look right over the bandstand. It's where the action is. Now the dining room is back where that bar was. We just didn't have time to do it then. Didn't really plan on doing it under these circumstances with right. the fire, but you got you know you got to hit a home run when you got one chance. So that's right. We, we and you guys did. did. I mean, we there's no did. doubt. I mean, the, the the word on the street and everywhere is just how incredible everything looks. Right. And you and I both know, and a lot of people don't know, the biggest part of a restaurant is obviously the food side of it. Absolutely. And that kitchen is incredible back there. That kitchen, we uh, nearly doubled its capacity. We right. used to run two kitchens out of one. Now we're running two kitchens out of two kitchens with something called flow, which we never had before. So it's incredible. The food gets prepped, goes to the line, gets cooked, goes to the table. 
no we, more crossing lines like we used to do. The neat thing is you guys opened up right before bike week and that's you know we all know that that, that in the fourth of July is, wow. is is dead dog time. From you opened up and people were just excited. The, the food meal ticket times were coming out quick. Yeah. I mean how do you open the doors up like that? A and I obviously did an unbelievable job getting you back open. Outstanding. But wow. you guys and your staff, I mean, just to walk into that new kitchen and Pete, be able Peter's to, around here somewhere. I know we, Peter's we, around we, here. We were He's right. doing something. He's got one of his hats on. <laughs> I think Peter's over there doing something behind the bar, but that is incredible <laughs> to open up that kitchen and start serving food to mass numbers. Not not just open up. You know, a lot of people would do a uh, a, uh, a real soft opening. There was no soft opening. Uh, we here. blasted you guys the doors off from day one, and it was from an operation standpoint, it was terrifying. Um, but we had a lot of our core staff come back. We hired about 80 new people. Yep. Uh, you know, it was a team effort. We got it done. Well, I'll tell you right. what. The place is beautiful, and it won't be long. We're going to be back on the deck cooking some new recipes on that Wait. Wilmington Grill. Absolutely. John, I tell you what, again, we look forward to a great year. And guys, listen, come down, check out the new restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful. And also, come down and check out Marsh Walk Water Sports, located right behind here. We're going to tell you a little bit more about it on another show. But come down. You can plan your whole day. Hang around here. Eat. Kayak. Jet skis. There's everything to do here. Now, I'm going back to the water. I got a fish on the line. Stay right there. I knew he was going to come back for it. Yes. Hang on. I'm going to carry you back to him. All right. He's on. He's on. It's a nice fish. Look Just at him. Just keep your line tight. Hot dog. He got me in the grass, though. Oh. No, I'm not hooked up to the grass. I actually have a fish on, folks. Oh, Mike. Come on. Don't let him get off on me. Come on. This could be my biggest fish. This would be my biggest bass ever. Of course, I ain't got much competition. <laughs> He ain't got much competition. He's right there. Oh, come on. I'm try to go in there. Can we get in there, Mike? I don't know. We won't get one so far. There he is right there on top. As far as we can go. Oh, I see him. That's a good fish, too. I'm coming up there with you. All right, come on. I see Excuse him. That's a good fish. Good fish. Let me see the line. Maybe I can put it. Oh, here it. he comes. Here he comes. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, Come on. There we go. Hot dog. Bring him on. Bring hey, him on. We've been working hard with that frog. He ain't big, but that's, yeah, I look, tell you what. He ain't as big as we thought of it. Look he how black big, he is. But he had all that grass. Look how black that fish is. Yep. All right. Good. Hey, you know what? Hot dog. He ain't a world record, but guess what? I got I called him. We had to go get him. <laughs> That's it. But I got him. He's gone. <laughs> this place is beautiful. It's, it's centrally located, whether you're in Florence, Columbia, easy to get to. And like I said earlier, Mike Foxworth can uh, guide you on your trip, or you can come down and, and join as a member and come out and fish by yourself. And Mike, the phone number for you guys at, at Black Mingo Ranch to get all the information is 843-527-4336. 527-4336. Guys, if you call and come down here, you will not be upset. You're going to have a great time and you can bring your kids out here and they've got brim, he's got crappy, he's got everything other than just bass out here. But a great time on the water to bring your family out here and again, it's centrally located. Now listen, we got to pause for some words from some of our wonderful sponsors. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back at Black Mingo Ranch with some bass action. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by Coastal Gas and Merle's Inlet. Free ice with purchase of 50 gallons of fuel. Located behind the Chamber of Commerce. And by Ag South, rural America's lender of choice for land, farm, and home loans. By Fishizzle Tackle. Reels are gonna sizzle when you go Fishizzle. Visit FishizzleTackle.com for your nearest dealer. By Ice Recycling in Lake City, South Carolina. Leading the way in the move to get large manufacturers. Folks, what a great time at Black Mingo Ranch down here in Georgetown, South Carolina. It was wonderful to be out on the water with my good buddy, Captain Mike Foxworth. We've been talking about this for a long time and it was a pleasure to get out here and actually see that he really does have as many fish as he tells me he does. You can come down here and fish too. Make sure to get in touch with him. We've got all his contact info right here. 
make sure to come down here and enjoy this great fishery that they've got right here. The ponds are wonderful, they're beautiful, and you know what, even if you do get out there and don't get lucky and catch any fish, you're going to have a wonderful time. There's so much to see here. Now, I know I missed a bunch of fish today, and at the beginning of the show, Mike said he was going to cut my shirt tail. Well, if he'd have cut my shirt tail off, for all the ones that I missed, I wouldn't have a shirt left. So. He was nice enough to let me run away from him, get up here and save my shirt. But we had a great time today. And listen, make sure you're back here next week. Come join me, Captain E, for some more Reeling Up the Coast.